we celebrate the Valentine's season, um, you never know uh, who you might end up with and this next song is for you, okay? Because it speaks about possibilities in the world. So the person on your left and your right, it might be that person, right? Something's telling me it might be you It's telling me it might be What is it about your wife that has made her, you know, the one for you? Caring, understanding, willing to take all my nonsense, wow. which it's not difficult <laughs> to me, but I know it's uh, taxing on her part. Derek is dedicating, if I ain't got you, to Desmond. <laughs> this is uh, Desmond? Maybe small, but he has a big heart. Yeah. Uh, and he, uh, he's like my mentor or disciple in a sense. Uh, yeah. So I want to thank him for being a testament to, to, to all of us by showing what it means to love someone unconditionally. Yeah. Uh, we may never understand girls, yeah. but you've shown us how a little bit of understanding can actually go a long way. Yeah. Wait, 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 explain. Why? I don't understand. Uh, you see, you say you never understand girls, then you dedicate a love song to a guy. <laughs> Actually, it's a miracle that we have been married for three and a half years because it's a miracle we got married at all. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, one of the first things said me, you know, I don't, I don't know how a healthy relationship looks like. I've grown up with parents who have not made it, you know, uh, and I only know how to see what is wrong with the relationship. And every time something went wrong with us, I just ran away. And he's quite good at these analogy things. Huh? So the picture, he said, you know, the picture this house. And then we've got tap, and you know that the tap is leaking. That's supposed to represent, you know, some conflict. And said, so, you know, normal people, if the tap is leaking, will get a wrench or call a plumber to go and fix it, right? Yeah. But um, for me, when I saw the leaking tap, I would run out of the house. was <laughs> telling me, you don't have to run. And what he said to me was, baby, I am not walking out. I am going to stay and I'm going to fix it. Right? And I'm going to try my best to give the best tap in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and even though I don't have a clue of what it is to fix a tap, but you know, God has told me that he will show me how. And if you look at all of that, that's my broken road. And I don't know whether for any of you, the broken road is something like that. But I think the comfort that I draw from it really is that you know with all the bad stuff, you know, like all the heartache and the regrets and all that, somehow God will always steer it and make it turn out for good. That guy has the broken road, but let me stray to let me
enjoyed the chats, the food, the conversation, the music and everything like that. Um, they just want to give, uh, just, just leave some thoughts with you, you know. I think as musicians, right, the thing is we, we tend to, we tend to look at life um, through songs. That some songs are actually kind of by indication of what our life has been like. Lah. And um, something that we're constantly thinking about and asking ourselves is what is the song that we want to define our life. The thing is that keeps reminding us that we are, we are loved and we are precious. Uh, it's not because of all these things, uh, but it's really that uh, because there was someone in our lives uh, who came down and said, you know, mm, I can be that sunlight in your universe. And don't really think my love was really something good if I could change the world for you. And God has been that for us. And um, so we just want to share this with you and just thank you all for, for coming here. Just God bless you all. Yeah.